Local lawmakers taking steps to cut down on puppy mills and fake breeders. Congressman Guy Reschenthaler wants to give people information about where their pets came from and their background. Kind of like Carfax, but for your pets. Andy Sheehan has been investigating alleged puppy mills for the past few months and takes a look at how this new proposal would work. They're called Luna's Legacy, named after a dog who died two years ago after being purchased here at the Petland in Robinson. They've been picketing the store at least once a month ever since. We're protesting Petland because we know that they bring in puppy mill dogs and a lot of them have come in sick. We've seen this for years and years where a family goes into a pet store, they buy a dog that was sourced from a puppy mill that, that's sick. In the past two months, we've bought you a half dozen stories of owners who say they bought sick dogs from local Petland stores. Petland denies its dogs come from puppy mills, saying it buys only from federally licensed responsible breeders. But a bill introduced by Congressman Guy Reschenthaler aims at documenting what's true. My bill would bring transparency to uh, dog sales. So a breeder or somebody that's selling a dog would have to show records of its medical care and treatment and also the history of how it was bred. Reschenthaler proposes establishing a federal database called PetFax, allowing all dog purchasers to get a record similar to a car fax when buying a car. It would list all Animal Welfare Act violations by the breeder and the health history of the animal. Since breeders supplying false information would face a 10-year ban, Reschenthaler believes his bill will root out puppy mills. It's going to drive the consumer to either uh, breeders of dogs that are reputable, and I applaud that, or it's going to drive them to pet shelters like Animal Friends, where you know you're going to get a dog that needs a home, but that has been treated for any illness and, and that has not been abused while in that shelter. And the Petland protesters saying pet facts would be a great aid to anyone buying a dog. It would. They'll know backgrounds of the dogs and, and uh, you know, because there's good breeders out there and, and they are careful with all that sort of thing and they get the proper vet care. This is not that. So do local Petland stores buy sick dogs from puppy mills? P Petland denies this, but we wanted to find out for ourselves. Now, coming up at 6, I'll bring you a special report. Recently, I traveled to Amish country in the state of Indiana, where dogs are bred and shipped to our area. There we found dozens of dog farms. So are conditions really as bad as some say? Well, you'll see for yourself tonight at 6. Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.